Baru saya di sana nak kamu. Okay, when the machine arrived, generally. Out of box looks like this. First, the hunter was inside, the right outside, and under this you can find the honeycomb table and the and tables and accessories. And remember, there always have cable ties somewhere, so you need to cut before you can move to this country or practice a easy head. Okay, so I'm trying to put it in this corner where the machine the customer wants to be seat. And remember, the wheel sometimes you need to unlock it before you're able to push. And uh, lock the wheel once it's uh, in the position. Only is from two wheels have the lock. Yeah. And then lower the feet pad. Lower the feet. Lower the feet. Lower the feet, and the machine do not need to be level, but if you want, you can do that. Generally, lower the feet more, so the wheel do not press against the floor. Because if you move, push the wheel against the floor for a very long time, half a or more, then the wheel won't be perfectly round. So, in the future, if you want to push again, it will not be so smooth. So then this kit is too big for hand to touch Oh, this distance. Mm -hmm. I think I put it in to drill some holes. Maybe they... Okay, so this uh, is a cooler. Um, basically, it depends on the laser you wattage you purchased. It's uh, gonna be have different cooling. You have the more powerful one or more weaker one. Some times uh, is a water pump, but the cooler is always better. If you can afford the better cooling, is always better. And you also gonna have a better cable in your box. You put it in. This one will give you the warning signal. So if the cooler stops working or temperature too high, for any other reasons, it will give alarm. So the machine can stop and protect your tube. So two tubes, one for the inlet, one for the outlet. And uh, for the water, you normally use uh, purified water. You can get at a discount for 5 liter bottle. Or 4 liter bottle, I forget. Uh, generally, it takes about uh, one bottle of water. And uh, you need to change the water like once a month. You drain the water from the drain tank in the bottle. Okay and then put the new water inside. And if you cannot find the purified water, use uh, steel water. Uh, but don't use mineral water or use uh, other stuff. Tap water also not good. It's a set of the calcium and all this stuff, minerals in the tube. So it's also put in the back of the little machine and a position you feel comfortable. Let me go this side. Oh, you go that side. So you also connect... Uh, maybe you take it to that side. Oh, push it Push it Yeah. Check. 
I just wanted to indicate that inlet. Yeah, the 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 outlet of the cooling goes to the inlet of the machine, and the inlet of outlet of the machine goes to the inlet of the cooling. Basically, creating a circle. And the signal cable connect to here. Is this correct? Yeah, it's fine. And then the power cable connect to the back of the machine. Oh, I found two bags. Okay, do you have a funnel or something able to put in the water? I found two bags in the machine. I saw the water. Tabo, can you open yeah. that water and put it inside here? Put it inside water. Put it inside water. Yeah. Put it in here. Uh, this label actually says uh, and do not use the machine if there is no water. Now we can uh, get the tube put here. The tube comes with two wires and two hoses. Two wires, one is the black one for the negative side, another is for positive side, which is high voltage. Or another two tubes is for water cooling. Do we need to get the tube? Yeah. Okay. Um, we have the honeycomb table, but uh, you need to remember to take it up and remove the packaging foam underneath. Otherwise, your, vac your dust attraction is never going to work, and also it's dangerous to be caught by it. Generally, you just lift it. Just take it out, take it out, take it out. You can, you can keep this, uh, keep honeycomb on top, just remove those packaging. Yeah, okay. Underneath we also have the slate table uh, for you. You can actually use it without honeycomb table. I put honeycomb back. Uh, generally speaking, if you do not need to use honeycomb honey table, do not use because uh, when the laser encounter with the metal, it creates a critical little spark. So when you cut in, it will see lots of tiny dot, black, black dot created by the spark underneath your cutting. But sometimes for the stuff too small, you have to use, so you have to use. But anyway, we provide two. If you wanna take it out, you take it out and uh, put it vertically against the spray. And uh, if you wanna wash this in future one day, it's gonna be become super dirty, especially if we cut super. And you can use engine cleaner and the high pressure water to wash it, just like wash the engine radiator. Same way. Now you have all those foams. Uh, can, you, can you cut it uh, to slice and put it back so the, the fan and the pump can sit on top of on it? Top, okay. So it won't just uh, running around. Okay, okay, okay. Here is the wiring. Yeah. Just look underneath. Mm. Uh. That is the one. Oh, yeah, kind of see. That is one for the power, right? Yeah. Yeah, for the power. You have the 220 voltage power, is live, neutral, and uh, first. And the yellow and the blue one is earth. Oh, yellow and the green, sorry, yellow and the green. It's earth. Uh, you can also take this plug out uh, to connect if you want to, or you can connect uh, on it either way. And uh, you can see the samples. Each power supply may be different, but all will have those kind of samples. This is uh, Earth's AC, 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 AC means uh, to think about it, and I will let you down later. So you can find the label on the now. You have the neutral. Uh, I think that this might be This is a neutral, just the second neutral. This is live. Okay. 
And then just say power, connect to the major power supply. And uh, we also supply the power cable to connect. Uh, sometimes if you're lucky, you get one with uh, a very surge protection plug. But we're starting to not get, get the, give that plug anymore. Because that plug actually costs about 100 bucks. And it's uh, become unnecessary now. Because we actually have two filter of the electricity inside the machine. So if they have a surge, the machine won't get damaged. So super, super heavy surge. But if like that, the Edis plug would help neither. Uh, so we have two filters here. One filter, I forget which one now, is feeding the control. Another filter is feeding the stepper motor drivers. And uh, oh, this is uh, the power supply for the stepper motor drivers. The power can go, it goes to the filter, goes to the stepper motor. This is step motor driver's power supply, and then the power is feeding to the step motor driver's XYZ, one for each. And then this is the power supply, this supply to the motherboard. And this is the power supply uh, for the lights inside. <laughs> and uh, those are the so many. Okay, put it back. Okay, those are so many relays and uh, for different functions like uh, emergency, stop, and those things. Okay, in the bottom we have the cable, uh, we have the connector for the signal. You can also find the... Let me see, where is it? I cannot see. They normally have an instruction as well somewhere. See each one what is needed. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, okay, so you can see this label is have HPG IN5 volt. Okay. Now do you saw them? And then you can see this wire. I can see that. Also have the each correspondent. And this is L. This is IN. This is G. So, and uh, this is. Uh, G again, so they connect together. And this is uh, WP, actually it's uh, water protection. So, so those cables uh, goes inside. Uh, and WP and PSM. L sometimes also call low. And P means protection, sometimes uh, water protection. And, uh, G is ground, so it's ground. And the uh, yin is a uh, control signal function. <laughs> 5 volt is the control signal of the base 5 volt. But we do not connect that. Uh, and if you're not sure about this part, check the diagram in your utilities. Or just uh, call or support. <laughs> Mm. Feel the water just uh, directly to help pull the water on the side. For this model, this is 3000 model, you need to put the water full. What means full means you can see the water, it's full. Uh, for different ones, it's a little bit different. You just can't go spot the water. By the way, from here, uh, some model is on the right hand side, is the rotary. Uh, this is a new model inside a 5 pin. The rotary itself actually yeah. only needs 3 pins, the 3 phase motor is a little bit up here. But another two pins is to detect. So now it's a button of the light. The old one is a switch to flip, now it's to not leave. So you have the connector. And actually, if you buy from us, we have it already connected. The fourth and fifth wire, if it's short, then jump in the rotor. Okay, once you have a power supply installed, laser power supply, you will see there are two wires. One is for the high voltage. We already connect to the top. Another one is the lower voltage. And uh, you will find a loose wire in the machine somewhere. That is the wire for the low, low voltage, negative side. So we just need to join them, uh, put a solder and uh, solder it, and then tape it. This wire eventually will go to this side, where the, this one is. 
and the later we connect to the tube. Okay, we just move the machine to a different position. Uh, uh, yeah. I just want to show you everything on top of this foam, so the vibration won't make it move around. Now we're trying to install the laser tube. The uh, laser tube comes with different lengths. Um, depends on what tube you bought. But uh, they all in the same way of putting on. And this is a tube holder that will support uh, from 50 to 80 mm diameter of the tube. And this you can turn to adjust the height. But for 80, this one is 80 mm diameter, so you don't have to change that. Just be very careful to take it out and uh, put it on. Make sure the side is a uh, mirror. Actually, it's a lens inside. Is uh, on the mirror side. And also, you will see somewhere says uh, this side up. Just make sure that the side is up. And then you connect the water hose for cooling, like this one. Yeah, wrong side. This side. You will find a tube somewhere. We'll have the place to connect. Yeah, remove this cover as well. Inside I have a lens. Oh, you found it? Yeah, it's underneath here. So connect the water hose to here. You can take what I'm going to What did you say? is where you put stripe on sometimes if the tube is too short you actually need to move the folder position uh, that's just another case since this is a hundred watt tube actually the holder position is too wide this is uh, before this for 130 watt so we can uh, uh, move this holder on this side to somewhere here. Uh, basically, you can see the tube. They have the marker says where the good position to put. And this mod, uh, actually the next model, we will have the pre-drilled holes. So for using the holder to move. But now we just need to drill this holes. Okay. On this side of the cover, you can see have lots of holes and nuts, and you can feel it's no use at all. Actually, it's for extension. Sometimes, if you buy the machine, especially a smaller size of machine, that you want to fit in a very long tube, you usually please put extension. And uh, put extension very straightforward. Take this cover off, take this nuts off, and put it on, put it back in. And then the tube will go this side. The extension basically a steel box for protection. It's not supporting the tube, no it, it will affect anything, basically for protection. Now we cannot take this off and uh, get a new position to the floor and put it back. Okay, it's easy to put the tube inside, pretending inside, and decide the location or uh, where is the optimized location for this tube okay now we have the tube put it on and for the next side you get two wires one is from the tube one is on the machine yes you put them together and then solder it So you are soldering this side? Yes sir, yes sir. Okay, sure. 
uh, make sure solder it, then seal it with the uh, insulation tape. Uh, this is actually the shrinking tube. If you if you have it, you can use this one. It's better than insulation tape because the insulation tape sometimes starting to lose. But this one you need a special have. You can buy the electronic shop. And for the high voltage side, do the same. But we later we put the high voltage insulation tape on. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not Je <laughs> 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 I'm not Okay, on the high voltage side, is also you do the soldering, then put the shrinking tube on. But the most important, we need to put this high voltage insulation tape on. You can see it's much more thicker than normal insulation tape. Yeah, and uh, normally we put the tube. Yeah, put the tube cover here. Yeah, put the extra tube there. Normally it's a rubber tube. And then we wrap this insulation tape on top. Because uh, it's very high voltage, so we take extra precautions. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
kita pun pergi sop, pun pergi kuda. Sejuran, orang orang macam tu. Dah, kamu dah. Usah dah untuk tiga ni. Hmm. Tiga. Mula. Mana pasinya? Mana mahu kau di? Kian dekat. Eh, di sini aku buat maybe. Mula. Ah, macam ni. Okay, here is some basic instruction about uh, this one. This one is a uh, amperage meter. It's a milliamp, and it will indicate how many milliamp of current goes through the tube while it's working. If you are using R tube, you can reference of our refer our and uh, specifications for optimize the current required. And this is a panel of controlling and. This one you press, it will shoot the laser. So generally don't press this one until the laser tube is ready, which means filled with water for cooling. And the rest of button later, when the machine is on, then we talk about. Are you guys ready? Yeah. We can plug in the power now. Where's the power cable? Where's the, give me the power cable. Power cable. Power I think they give us extension. We can use us extension. Yeah, yeah. Give me the extension. No, it's too short. Give me the extension. Yes, yes, yes. You plug in, eh? Yeah, give it to me. Okay, the power cable we plug in here, and then the rest, if you can see, it's uh, here. Make sure your machine is properly earthed. Um, if your electricity is not, what you need to do, you can from here connect to earth. Uh, if you do not have earth anywhere near, you can connect this to the wire to connect to your water, uh, tape water. <laughs> And tube if it's metal. Or you can just uh, dig a hole in your garden about one meter deep. Actually, uh, through into a metal piece inside and connect the wire. Here. No, it's not. Okay, first thing, oh. uh, have you done? Okay, here is, you see, it's lots of tape on it. It looks big now. Before we switch on the machine, we normally pull this. You see, once the power connected, this light will be on. This is a LED light. And you can push it, make sure it's smoothly moved, nothing stuck in it. And uh, this one has a limit switch, and then zero have a limit switch. So when the machine is on, we quickly stop it. Then we test the limit switch, make sure it's working first. Otherwise, um, when the head moves to that side, it won't stop. Then you will see it's starting to jam in. Okay, so let's see everything it looks fine. Now it's the air pump button. Do not get that. Exhaust the fan, you will switch on. Here the fan is on. <laughs> the machine itself is on, but the main switch has switched out, but the machine itself is still off. Now let's check the water pump. And the, is the water connected? Yeah, the water Okay, please connect the water. So it's no leaking, huh? Okay, let me switch on. Huh? <laughs> Before you switch machine on, actually you switch water one. It will or it's not. I uh, have another switch on the panel. Still not. Did you switch? I didn't switch on the machine. I didn't switch on the machine. Okay. Different from the ones from the last one. Okay, sure. They change again. No, it's not. You see? Just the plug in, not plug in very carefully. You see, the water should come out from the bottom of the tube and uh, or should go inside the tube from the bottom and come out from the top. 
In this way, the worker is able to fill the tube nicely. You see, this is the place actually most tall. So, the water air bubble will move out. So, this water cooling inside the tube. If you carefully looking at the tube, you see it's three layers. Both inside the layer, it's a little bit pink. Uh, because when I actually test it, once you test it, it becomes a little pink. And actually, ah. pink color is the right color for the laser. If it's using it's pink, it's good. Uh, its purple means it's old. It's white means uh, air leak out almost. So inside the pink layer is where the laser will be generated, and the outside of that pink layer is the water a cooling layer. The most outside is. Uh, the layer actually jointed with the most inside layer. They both filled with high pressure CO2, and the CO2 will leak, most likely actually leak from this metal joint during the time when it's used. That's why cooling is very important. If it's hot, the leaking will be far worse than normal. And uh, during one year or two, the, the inside of the CO2 will leak. Almost uh, like uh, near half, so you can see the power, of the output power will goes down significantly. Eventually, you have to change the tube. So, if you can remind the lower temperature, will be good. And the temperature you can see actually is here in front of this fan. You can see a temperature current 27. The same 27 is most likely the room temperature because we haven't started anything yet. Um, Okay, can we? Okay, first of all, before you switch on, you make sure there's no air bubble inside. If you can struggle to get air bubble out, you can actually open this and lift one side to tap it, make sure the air bubble go out. Also, you can squeeze the tube. Why is when I press the alarm on? It's because this has the protection for the flow. So when the water is not flow, it's starting to beep. Generally, three things for the water cooling to be. First is water not flow, or not flow fast enough. Uh, second is temperature too high, generally over 35 or something. The third one is water level too low. So water level too low, you just need to refill the water. Okay. You normally can use this way to squeeze to get the air bubble out. But because the water we are using is quite good, so you see, no air bubbles. It's not empty, it's just no air bubbles. I think it looks like empty. Yeah, can I have that solution to you? Have you guys finished? No, almost. So now the cooling is fine. We go straight to the machine. Um, have you set the distance? Um, this is a spacer. This actually is how we determine the right distance of where the tube is going to be placed. I think it can be removed a little bit this time. Tiny. Yeah, you basically just on the and the roof. The tube doesn't need to be perfectly level. Actually, we recommend on this side should be a little bit higher to make the air bubble more easy to come out. As long as the laser beam able to shoot in the center of the first mirror, then it's fine. Doesn't matter if it's go this way, that way, that way, that way, whichever way, doesn't matter. But we recommend this side actually higher, so it's actually lean down like that. And to get the air bubble out. Of course, if it's out, then doesn't matter. Okay, now everything seems fine. Just make sure it's shooting in the center of this one. It looks very much like it. Okay. And for the laser alignment, it's totally another um, training video, I believe, because that maybe take much longer than time for installation. Uh, okay, about the red tape, if people are watching video, you remember it was black. It's because we put another normal installation tape on top.
uh, because uh, the high voltage insulation tape is not very sticky. So just uh, take precaution, precaution. Okay, and uh, here is, uh, hey, this thing is falling off. So someone come put it back. Put this uh, back, okay. Well, and underneath you can see this is a motorized table. I don't, I don't need to put it here, please. Uh, this rubber is just to prevent the rust because when you have the door closed on it, it will scratch against metal against metal for a long time and start to rust because the paint gets off. Uh, we during normal use normally put all the cover closed. And this is motorized table, it's driven by the step motors of the Z axis. Uh, and uh, the table actually doing installation, sometimes you put the belt on one side, it will cause it uh, uneven. But uh, how to level the table is another video, you can find it. Okay, everything is fine, we switch on the machine now. Switch on the machine is very easy. First, make sure the emergency button not on, then you press this button, then it will on. Just make sure you press stop all the time, actually, all the time, make sure it's stop because you want to test the switch first. Stop. What you want to test the switch, you find a metal piece, a metal piece, for example, a screwdriver. You push against on top, you see the light will on. This another one light will on. Of course, in our side, you cannot see. And uh, this button is uh, for reset. You can see it go back, and you press this one, this will stop. So everything is functional, and uh, now the machine is okay, X, Y is okay, and uh, then Z axis is actually present. Uh, you can see Z axis is also working, and uh, later we adjust the settings, make it move, move more smoothly. Okay, and now the fan is working air pump. Even if you press down, it won't work because it's controlled by the program. Now let's press this yellow button to see if the tube is lighting up. See, it's lighting up, so everything is done. Now it's starting training. Spark, huh? Spark. You see spark? Where? This thing just indicates that there should be no spark. Oh, of course, no spark. Let me shoot it again. No spark. It's all inside. Okay, now the tube is working. You, the how about the tube, the power through a beam go to the table. That's totally alignment. And uh, oh, you can see here lights actually. If we do something, for example, switch off this uh, cooler, it will become red. In this one, actually you cannot shoot laser because it won't work. Oh, also, in that case, it will say water protection is effective. I think the translate is correct. Okay, let's start this, it's become red. And also if you have anything like the squeeze the tube, make sure the water will flow, it will also so it will be protected. The machine is still trying to work, but the tube won't won't generate laser power, so you won't damage your tube. This is some protection. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> Okay, put the camera back. Let me have an overall picture. Okay, this is a machine of one plus three by line hunter. Just be set it up. Now the next step is actually doing the training and some setting and some training on this video.